tonight. She told me she said the water is off again. Uh, toilets are overflowing. Carpets are wet. That's tough. You got to have water, you know. And a mother describing the conversation with her daughter stranded on a cruise ship in the Gulf. Good evening. I'm Kelly Phillips. Thank you for joining us. It began as a relaxing office cruise for a couple and their office staff. Now the trip cannot end soon enough for the 16 Southeast Texans and thousands of passengers on the Carnival ship Triumph. A fire in the engine room during the weekend forced the ship to rely on emergency generators for power. Tugboats are pulling the vessel to Alabama. KFTM reporter Justin Hinton explains family, family members say they won't rest easy until the ship arrives. Lots of flooded toilets and wet carpets. Tugs still not here at 4.06 p.m. Alvin and Dorothy McKnight thumb through a Monday text conversation with their daughter Stephanie. It's one of the few ways they can get a hold of her and her husband while they're stranded aboard a Carnival cruise ship. Those are my children on that vessel, so I'm concerned. Every year, the entire family goes on at least one cruise, but this one was different. This cruise was a gift from their son-in-law, Peter Cass, to his staff at Beaumont Family Eye Care. Beaumont Family Eye Care, this is Sarah. How may I help you? Yes, what's your last name? Family friend Sarah Long is pitching in and answering calls, explaining what happened. I could barely even pick up the phone because so many patients were calling me. Is that Dr. Cass's cruise ship? Is that the cruise ship that the Casses are on? You know, so it was the phone lines were netted up. Back at the McKnight home, attention turns to the living conditions on the Carnival cruise ship. What shall I say? They were having to take care of business in a bag so that it could be disposed of. In a late Tuesday morning conversation with her mom, Stephanie had been reduced to tears. They're saying, we're going to refund this. It's going to be okay. And we're going to give you 20% off your next cruise. Who wants a next cruise with Carnival? Who? A frustrating situation for her parents who can only wait for their return. Give them a big hug. Just glad to see them. And they'll be back. It's just frustrating between now and then. Wait and pray. In Lumberton, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Dorothy McKnight has called a Beaumont Charter bus company to pick up the group and bring the families home when they arrive in Alabama on Thursday.